Two guys who should have chosen different careers. Here are the voices of the Condors, Brian Holt and Kevin Bartle. Ain't that the truth. Heard that. <laughs> Ryan Holt, Kevin Bartle here. Another episode of Condors Unleashed. Live from the Dignity Health Studios inside the Bakersfield, California. I'm Holt. He's Bartle, in case you didn't know. In case you're just tuning in for the first time. You never know. New listeners, new followers, new everything. Well, uh, eventually, they'll, our names will be right down yeah. here. Where are they? They'll put them up there. There it is. There's Bartle. That's me. I'm Holt. You're Holt. There it is. Even though it's under me. Same still. spot. Same spot. Same bad there. time. Same bad channel. Different guys, though. Right, Holt, Kevin Bartle. Thanks for tuning in. Spending your lunch hour with us. We hope to have pizza. We've heard that Mike Griffith is boycotting the pizza today. We hope to have pizza on the show tonight. From Mount Mike's. I mean, we, we we're putting out a public plea. I went shopping the other day, and I bought all my lunch meat for the week, and thought hey i don't have to worry about wednesday i'm yeah. good I, I got mountain mics yeah and chris the same way and griff i mean you gotta come through for me you gotta come through or else i'm gonna be starving and i'm poor griff i'm poor <laughs> and, and, you know <laughs> can i get some pizza i just want some pepperonis Condors head coach uh, troy man will join us we'll break down some uh, game film we'll actually break down uh, the pre-scout like we did last week we won't go as in-depth as we did last week uh, there's almost four minutes worth of video but We'll take a look at the pre-scout for the Stockton game last night, which, Bart's I don't know if you heard, but it went pretty well for the Condors. I think they did a good job on the pre-scout. It ended, a good, it ended on a good note. It yeah. started on a good note. And uh, in between, we got a pretty good hockey game. Yeah. Eric Bergdorfer will also join us uh, in our player segment, uh, back down for the American Hockey League. We hope to have him on the show here today. There was just an optional skate for the guys at 11 o'clock, so hopefully Bergie didn't just jet set out of the optional skate and head back home and take a nap. He might have. He might have. We hope. I think he'll be here. Eric Bergdorfer will join us. And Jose Rivera from the Condors front office will stop by. and Guess he'll pickers. Make, he'll make some picks. Who I went, had a rough week last who week. Who went 3-0 last week? I had a this rough guy. week. <laughs> this guy. 3-0? Not 3-0. Nope. It's great. And uh, it should be a good show. We have breaking news already before we get to hold these headlines. Devin Dubnik of the Edmonton Oilers uh, traded to the Nashville Predators for a forward. He's a goaltender. He's a goaltender. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. yeah, I mean, obviously, you don't want to speculate on what's going to happen player personnel That's a good wise. word for today, speculate. It is. Yeah. Uh, there's we'll a lot of speculating going on. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, and, you know, on the hockey side of things, we're not always privy no. to everything that's happening, which makes speculation fun. It makes it fun. And but it's it, really, it's just a random speculation. Makes it useless. So but Devin obviously, Dubnik when a goaltender, traded, yes. That's a fact, and that's a goaltender. When a goaltender gets need... traded, it usually means that that's the one position on a hockey yeah. team that you almost always see a trickle-down effect. We'll but, see if uh, Troy we'll Mann see. has any word for us in Coach's Corner. We'll see if he has any late-breaking news as well. But we'll see. Yeah. All right, let's let's get right into this. This is going to be a fun show, folks. It's time this is gonna be a fun show. for Holtie's Headlines. This could be the best Holtie's Headlines of the year. Come on down. All right, Holtie's Headlines. Let's get right into it, folks. Holtie's Headline number one. Oh, there's the recap. But before we get to the recap, there's an elephant. Is that elephant in the room? There's an elephant in the room, folks. Obviously, a story posted in the Edmonton Sun late last night online, also today. Really a great article, Barts, if you get a chance to read it. It's all about Condors Town. It's great. Highlights everything. There's just one little thing about potential sale of the Condors to the Edmonton Oilers. Matt Riley just held a press conference, a media gathering at the Condors' front office, informing them that Jonathan Fleissig is the owner of the team. Matt Riley is not the owner of the team. And he had no further comment. And that's about all there is. That's about all there is. But there is an elephant in there the room. There is an that elephant. It bared addressing because it's an elephant and they're large. When there's an elephant in the room, you have to address it. It's something my father taught me. Yes. If you see an elephant in the room, you got to mention that the elephant's in the room. We mentioned that the elephant's in the room. And now we can move on. Last night, the Condors are whooped on the Stockton Thunder. Final score was 7-2. to two. Let's roll these wonderful highlights because it's just awesome. Play those highlights. Get those highlights going. I mean, yeah. the only thing larger than a ranch, I think, is a ponderosa. Bartle <laughs> breaking down ranch say? sizes. It's great. 1745 to go first. This was early period. in the first period. Still looking for the gaze for a shot. Leach outlet feed little over the blue line. Abney dropped B. Carroll all alone. And front scores! 
Really nice for Andrew Carroll picking up his first goal as a member of the Condors. Uh, he does a lot of the little things right. He brings a physical element to this team. And as we mentioned last night, any offense you get out of Andrew Carroll is just icing on the cake because he's such a solid hockey player. Yeah, well, and it stands for the uh, second consecutive game that the uh, first goal was scored on the first shot. Yeah. This time it was scored by the Condors. And then Joey Leach with a big hit later on in the period. And I thought Joey Leach was the Condors' best defenseman last night. And Jordan Canucks did finishing it off. I mean, you get the defense down one end, you turn it into offense down the other. And that's often how it how it works out. And, you know, we talked about that a lot in a lot in the two to nothing loss. That, you know, I, the offense didn't come, and I think it was because they weren't able to start it in their own zone. What a huge hit from Joey Leach, and then going the other way, Watson and Little were absolutely superb last night. Little had four assists. Watson had a three point night. And uh, just a tremendous effort. And that's a backhanded pass, yeah. by the way. About a 40-foot backhanded sauce, as they call it, from the wall to the right circle. A beautiful pass. And then speaking of Ryan Watson, he decided, I don't need anyone to pass to on this one. What a thing of beauty. Watson curls and drags on the backhand shot. He scores! That's just never given up on a play. Ryan Watson's been a great addition to this Condors team. I mean, you look at over the last the two months and the guys that have come on board, the Thurbers, the Littles, the Watsons of the world, and I mean, they've all done something. Carroll as well. They've all done something to make this team better. And the Condors, as a result, have certainly climbed up in the standings. And Bakersfield wasn't done in the first period. That's my Kevin Bartle favorite line, line up at center. Well, that's what you do after you score a goal, Ryan. Line up at center. You line up at center. 15 seconds later, Joel Broda, his first of two. And uh, Broda was, for my money, and, and for you know what little money, as I mentioned, I have, I'm poor. Uh, Joel Broda has been the best player in the Western Conference uh, that I have seen with my own two eyes. We're going to start a Holty collection play, by the way. We're going to start passing it around. Yeah. We'll see what's in it at the end of, uh, we pass the, at the, end of the show. Can we pass the hat? Pass the cowboy hat. Laurent Brossois. But a big save uh, there, one of 30 on the evening for Brossois. Had a good night as well. Then, ironically, Bartle, after five goals scored in the first period, none is scored in the second, and then Joel Broda gets us going in the third. Probably my favorite goal of the season yeah. right there. Uh, but Broda scored two goals, and they were both very similar. He had the puck down deep. They gave him some room to cut out in front of the net short side, and he does it and tucks it home. Right, the uh, nice the slams on the brakes, nice control, right gets his own rebound, pushes it wide, sweeps it in, ripped the goalie's mask off just for the heck of it. Yeah, and a nice little celebration at the end. Condors weren't done, that was just goal number five, there's two more. The Condors end up scoring seven in this one, and really a fortunate bounce for Chase Shaver, but when you get that fortunate bounce, you got to make Stockton pay, and that's exactly what the work did. Well, the Condors got a lot of fortunate bounces in this game. They earned their bounces, and they took advantage of their opportunities. Yeah, this one bounces right out. Thurber, Little in there. They kick it out to Shaver, and boom. There it is. Condors add one more. Jordan Canaxted gets another one. As a Jordan Canaxted climbs into double figures in scoring, and we've talked a lot this season about the Condors off set plays, and... You look at that one, Little Carroll, and then right on the stick of Canaxton, and it finds him back in the net. It is, it's as close to a set play as you have in uh, hockey, and he's got a great release on that shot, so it's all geared towards getting that guy at the top of the circle, the, uh, the puck, and let him put the biscuit in the basket. 7-2, your final last night. The Condors uh, whooped the Stockton Thunder. That's, I, I, I mean, I love saying it. You know, you can't say it enough. The Condors beat up on the Stockton Thunder. You see a lot of the pictures as well, courtesy of the Bakersfield, California. Thank you so much, guys. The most scores scored, Bartle, and I read this in a book, since February 2011 for the Bakersfield Condors. Also at home, it was a 7-3 win over the Ontario Reign. The more you know. Moving on. Eric, or we got the schedule for this weekend. My apologies. Condors hosting San Francisco on a Friday night. We'll tell you about that promotion in just a bit. Then the Condors head to Stockton on Saturday evening, 7.30 start time up at Stockton Arena. Our last trip there, and I think I'll do my happy dance as well. You're oh. allowed to do the happy <laughs> dance for no more trips to Stockton. Yeah, I love it. And then Sunday afternoon, the Condors return home to take on the 
Pacific Division leading in Western Conference leading Ontario Reign. The last time those two teams met a very good game down in Ontario. Should be a good one as well on Sunday at 4 o'clock with the Skate with the Team Party after the game. All right, moving on here on Holtie's Headlines. Bergie's back in Condors Town. He was plus four last night in a welcome addition back on the Condors Blue Line. The Blue Line, which had just really four defensemen going into this week after the injury to Nick Pajot last weekend. Bergdorfer hops back in, makes it five defensemen. The Condors make a trade for Colin Bowman. We're receiving word Bowman will report to Bakersfield. So we're up to six defensemen now, Barlow. That's a luxury. We're practically overflowing. We're overflowing now with we're, defensemen. We're just the our kettle is overflowing. Yeah, it's great. So the Condors, uh, full complement of defensemen. Bergdorfer, a great job in the American Hockey League. We'll have him on the show later today. We'll talk a little bit about his experiences in the American Hockey League. Well-deserved for him. Gets an assist up there with Oklahoma City. Great to see. Couldn't have happened to a better guy. All right, coming up on Friday, the Condors are hosting a Cowboy Hat giveaway night. We did this last year as well, but it's so good. We're bringing it back again uh, this year. And the Cowboy Hats, well, you get your black or tan one. And I don't know if we can zoom in on Bartle, but... They yeah, can't there, zoom you in. can't There's zoom no in. I think, you, I think you need to come closer to get the get the full effect of how good this cowboy hat is. Shoot, I tell you what, that's a nice looking hat right there. Yeah, I think it's a twelve gallon hat. Is mm -hmm. that what they call yeah. the bucket hat? No, twelve ounce. So oh, sorry, jeez, sorry. I'm not a cowboy. I want. It's not be. a real term. He's messing with you. Oh, it's not a twelve ounce hat, you dolt. Here's the black one. <laughs> it's a gallon hat. Isn't it a 12 gallon hat? Yeah. Yeah. There you yeah, go. Yeah. It looks great. Cowboy hats, first 2,000 fans through the door, five and older. You get your choice of black or tan while supplies last. So that means, Bartle, if you want a tan one or a black one, what do you have to do? You have to get there early. Yeah, I suggest. And you have to get your tickets early so you're not caught in line. By the way, I'd like to apologize for calling you adult on the air. No, that's fine. I'm poor and I take it. It wasn't very nice. Yeah. I take it back. I take abuse. All right. Cowboy hat on Friday night, so it should be a lot of fun. 7 o'clock, doors open at 6. Get your tickets by calling a 324-PUCK, 324-7825. Hey, you get a look at uh, pass to skate with the team after the games on Sundays. That's when we like to do them. 4 o'clock is the time of the game against Ontario. Immediately following the game, bring your skates and come on down to the ice and skate with the entire team. They'll all be out there. You get your autographs, get your pictures taken as well. Should be a lot of fun. It always is and a great chance to interact with the players. Hey, Holty, I don't have skates. That's fine. We have them. A limited one. $5. Cash. Bring it down. Get your skates. Go on the ice. Only people with skates are allowed on the ice. I want to make that a public service amount announcement. If you don't have skates, you don't get on the ice. It's for your own good, really. Yeah. We can't take any If lawsuits. you've never had somebody skate over one of your toes it's not and cut it off. Not pleasurable. Yeah, it's really difficult to stop the bleeding. <laughs> Anyways, next story. <laughs> hey, we haven't announced it yet, but we're going to announce it. So this is, I guess, breaking news now. We meant to announce it earlier today, but obviously we didn't get to it. The con... <laughs> The Condors are hosting the first ever Undy Sunday. It's the postponed game that the Condors uh, had canceled because Las Vegas didn't want to show up on December the 7th. That was a Saturday. Condors uh, will make up that game against Las Vegas. Whose panties are those? <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get through the story, Barlow? <laughs> I'm sorry. Carry on. Sunday, April 13th at 4 o'clock against Las Vegas. All right, here's how it's going to work. When the Condors score their first goal of the game, it's very similar to teddy bear toss. Instead of throwing teddy bears, we can throw teddies. You get it? I do. I don't think that's what we, we – we don't really want gowns. teddies. But. No, you don't really want teddies. We're looking for undergarments. We're looking for boxers, briefs, female underwear, bras, brassiers, bros, whatever. Man's ears. You have your B cup. <laughs> you have the C's. You got the, you got the D's. Those are the biggest. How about? <laughs> That's for all you Seinfeld fans out there. I based my whole life on knowing that the D is the biggest. I'm done. <laughs> so, all right. So, here's <laughs> he's, he's really... He's, He's really done. He's really done. Yeah, nothing. I'll, I'll follow. I'll finish the story. We're doing Basic. this. I want to tell you why we're doing <laughs> it's this. A Hold on. It's for charity. It's all, it's all for charity. No, for, ser for serious reasons. 
<laughs> we spoke to a lot of nonprofits. And the nonprofits have told us that one of the biggest needs that they have, a lot of the homeless shelters, a lot of the areas around here, they need undergarments uh, for those less fortunate and those without uh, a lot of the things that we have. And uh, They're the hardest with, to come by. Coupled with that and the fact that someone once threw a bra on the ice when Taylor Hall of the Edmonton Oilers uh, had a hat trick. We called it a bra trick, uh, or at least the media did. Um, that was kind of the inspiration. Plus the nonprofit saying, hey, this is something we need. We need teddy bears too, but we need this for our folks and for the homeless around the area. So uh, we're going to do a good deed. It's hopefully going to take off. We'll have more information later. Check out bakersfieldcondors.com. And I apologize for laughing. But uh, new undergarments, by the way. Keep them in the wrapping. They'll throw better. They'll slide across the ice. Long johns. uh, I mean, flannels. Whatever you got. (laughs) Throw it on the ice. Uh, Yeah. Anyways, uh, earlier today, Scott Cox did some tomfoolery on his show and just wanted to show it. Still waiting uh, for a word, uh, Bartle. Kevin, huh? Huh? Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on down, Bartle. Can we get somebody to leave a trailer of these things, like from uh, the Condors town on down to here? Yeah, we could. Can we somebody call 324-PUCK? We'll be right back. It's First Look with Scott Cox. It's Bakersville.com. That's good. Where the question is, is where are my dang Cheez-Its? Yeah. Where are they? That I was thought, only a couple of hours ago. Real I thought time. Scott Cox was coming back. I thought that's what he was saying to Terry. I don't want us. Scott Cox. I want the Cheez-Its. He can stay in his hole. He Listen, probably he probably can't even get here by now. It's it's afternoon. He's probably halfway through a bottle of tequila by now. Just give me the Cheez-Its and nobody gets hurt. I don't want to say anything. You know, toot our own horn. But that was one of the funniest segments I think that's ever been done. Let's have the studio. coach on. Yeah. We'll step out, take a break. This is Condors Unleashed. We're losing all sorts of sanity. Bakersfield.com. Troy Mann will join us next. We'll break down some video. Stay tuned.